fans of Division 2 agents, this is Gamer for Life back with another Division 2 build video. I came out with a pestilence build a couple of weeks ago where I wanted to utilize the talent braced, allowing us to shoot our gun like a laser beam and have super fast reload speed. I also had a palisade piece on which gave us some survivability with its 10% armor on kill. However, I know there are some agents out there who want that tick from the Pestilence as high as it possibly can get, and I understand that. So in this video, I wanted to do just that, and try to get that Pestilence tick as high as I possibly could as a solo player, while still having some decent survivability. But our survivability does not take away from the tick itself. And I honestly have no idea how to get the tick higher as a solo player. So after you watch this video and maybe you see how the tick can be higher, definitely let me know in the comments because I'm only human and I can certainly be overlooking something. With all of that said, let's go ahead and get right into this bad boy. All right, so you can see the way I have it set up, my goal with these pieces was to get armor region and weapon handling rolled on every single piece. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get armor region on my backbone, and I can't tell you how many countdown runs that I did trying to get armor region and weapon handling already as an attribute to where I could roll that core attribute to weapon damage. But you know, weapon handling, crit chance, we'll go with that. So we'll go over this piece first, you can see it is the Lingmo. We do have three pieces of this brand set. Brand set bonuses plus 20% explosive resistance, plus 25% skill health, and plus 30% LMG damage. And this is rolled with max weapon damage, crit chance, weapon handling, with an armor on kill mod. That's what I went with with all of the mods, our armor on kill mods, just to give us a little bit more survivability with this build even though it is absolutely geared towards to get the tick as high as it can get and the talent is perfectly unstoppable force which is one of the main reasons we're able to get our tick so high is killing an enemy increases total weapon damage by seven percent for 15 seconds stacks up to five times grenade kills add two stacks so we get full stacks with this we're getting another 35% weapon damage. All right, and then on our mask, max weapon damage, armor region, weapon handling, armor on kill. And then our chest piece is the sacrifice, which is the name Providence chest piece, plus 15% headshot damage for the brand set bonus, road with max weapon damage, armor region, weapon handling with an armor on kill mod. Talent is perfect glass cannon. All damage you deal is amplified by 30%. All damage you take is amplified by 60%. So again, that's why I wanted to have these armor on kill mods, the armor region, and of course our specialization is going to give us a bit more survivability as well. But you know, with the glass cannon, I know it can be intimidating to use, but if you get those ticks on the enemy, I mean, you can just sit back, chill and cover. You don't have to do anything. Just watch the tick tick their lives away and you're good. And then our holster for the last piece of Lingmo, max weapon damage, armor regen, weapon handling. And we do have the contractor gloves plus 10% LMG damage for our brand set bonus. Row with max weapon damage, weapon handling, and we get that plus 8% damage to armor on this named item. Expertise is 12. And then the other star of the show is the Sawyer's knee pad. This does come with max armor, explosive resistance, and health. And this is rolled with 14% expertise. The talent is stand your ground, cannot be staggered by explosions, increases total weapon damage by 3% each second you are not moving, stacks up to 10 until you start moving. All stacks lost 10 seconds after moving. So if we're not moving and we're in cover, we're getting 30% more weapon damage. 
and the way the build is set up with the sacrifice and all that good stuff, we're gonna want to be in cover just chilling, you know. So we should be able to have that 30% weapon damage up most of the time. And then the skills that we have, we do have the striker drone, which is designed just to keep the enemies busy. 15% for the expertise roll. Mods, 7.2 duration, 9.7 health, and 4.8 damage. And since we do have perfect glass cannon on, I did want to utilize the revive hive, just giving us another life, just in case we do go down. And this one is at 10% range for the expertise roll. Mods plus 10% revive armor repair, 5% range, and 10% health. All right, and the main star of the show, the Pestilence. And like I said, I wanted to try and get as much tick as I possibly could. So I did max the expertise out at plus 25%. And trust me, if you don't have your expertise maxed out or anywhere near 25% on your Pestilence, the tick is still going to be crazy good. So yeah, 25% for the expertise roll road with a max LMG damage, damage to target out of cover, and damage to armor. And then the talent is Plague of the Outcast. Hits apply a debuff dealing 100% weapon damage over 10 seconds. This stacks up to 50 times. Whenever an enemy dies with this debuff, 100% of the stacks are transferred to a nearby enemy within 25 meters. So yeah, again, you get this tick on the enemy. You get a full tick and you have a room full of enemies, you don't have to do anything else. You can just chill back and just watch them drop like flies. We can take a look at the stats. I mean, you know, it's not a crit build, but we got 16% crit chance, 45 crit damage, 100% headshot damage, 14% armor damage, and our weapon handling sitting at 40%, which gives us 40% swap speed, which technically we really don't need. 60% stability, 60% accuracy, 50% reload speed bonus. All right, so we can go over the specialization, definitely helping our pestilence out some more. So with our survivability, we're getting another 10% armor on kill, which is beautiful to go along with all three of those mods. Definitely comes in handy when, you know, we have perfect glass cannon on. Every third reload is 50% faster. Armor kit repairs 100% armor and grant 30% bonus armor for 10 seconds. Fancy Pulse, if you do utilize that. Generate 10% of total ammo capacity every 60 seconds. Party members recover 5%. 10% weapon handling while not moving. Need to be motionless for one second. 50% pulse resistance and rate of fire increases by 5% on kill for five seconds. And of course, just make sure that your LMG is equipped on your specialization so you're getting that extra 15% weapon damage. All right, so with that done, let's go down here and see what our tick gets to. All right, so we want to get full stacks on our backbone. So let's just go ahead and let our Sawyer's knee pad get all the way up. All right, and you can see, I mean, it still shoots pretty decent, you know. So we're wanting to get those five kills. Then we'll take a look at that tick. Hopefully that transfers back over here. Ah, I did not. So let's try that again. Well, we got the we've got the backbone maxed out anyway, so now we should get the full tick. Okay, one million, one point eight million. So basically, over one point eight million tick. That's just beautiful. See if we can transfer it back. Yeah, there we go. So we can see that take over 1.8 million when it's on their armor. Obviously, it goes down a bit once it gets to, to their health since we have all that damage to armor. But yeah, 
that's beautiful so we'll just leave it there my friends like i said i know it can be tough sometimes wearing glass cannon but if you get that tick going on the enemies again you can just sit back and cover and watch them tick away one by one and if you just can't bring yourself to use glass cannon that's cool too just check out some of my other pesty builds that still has some amazing tick but is geared more towards survivability but anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys are doing good, staying safe out there. I do have some gameplay coming up, so stay tuned for that. And as always, my YouTube family, take it easy. Friendly combatants nearby. Enforcements incoming. Incoming hostiles detected. Friendly combatants detected.